Peggy 18. Welcome to XCOM Mission Control, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. It's my job to update you on key developments around the world, and to help you coordinate operations in the field. Today, we're responding to reports of abductions within the continental U.S. What type of squad do you wish to deploy? Commander, you've chosen to deploy operatives from each soldier class. This balanced force has a good mix of skills. They should have a tactical response to any situation that arises. The troops are awaiting your orders to proceed. By moving our assault soldier to cover, you've made him much harder for the enemy to hit. Our sniper can't move and fire his rifle in the same turn. By moving to cover, he's limited to his sidearm. In this case, the far weaker laser pistol. The heavy can't move and fire a rocket in the same turn. By ordering her to move, you're limiting her to a weapon that can only hit a single hostile. Excellent work, Commander. The squad's taken out three hostiles and suffered no casualties. We've nearly cleared the area. How would you like to proceed? Unlike other weapons, the sniper rifle actually gets more accurate the farther the enemy is. Burning vehicles take one turn to explode. By remaining in cover behind this burning car, this soldier is in danger of being killed in the blast. This floater has our assault soldier pinned down. Until the floater is neutralized, our man will be unable to move or shoot without extreme risk. By killing the floater, this soldier can now move and fire without risk or penalty. Explosives are very effective at killing aliens, but they make recovering alien weapon fragments impossible. Commander, 
The squad has cleared the area of all hostiles and suffered no casualties. I'm sure the troops appreciate the value you've placed on their lives, and the experience they've gained should prove invaluable on future missions. Job well done. The mission may be over, but the war rages on, Commander. You'll be pleased to know that the Council has made additional training available, as well as upgrades for the troops. God knows we'll need it. The Arc Thrower has the ability to stun an enemy, allowing us to interrogate it after the mission. These interrogations yield valuable data, often giving us insight into advanced alien technologies. This sectoid is mind-merged with another sectoid, making him stronger and more resistant to the arc thrower. Weakening an alien with small arms fire increases the chance to successfully stun it. Each arc thrower is limited to two shots. Weakening an enemy beforehand is important to getting the most out of the arc thrower. This heavy could have killed her target with explosives. By killing it with her light machine gun, we'll now be able to recover fragments of its weapon for research. Although one of our operatives was killed, we successfully captured two aliens for interrogation as well as a substantial amount of alien artifacts. Our scientists and engineers will be incredibly pleased. The mission may be over, but the war rages on, Commander. You'll be pleased to know that the Council has made additional training available, as well as upgrades for the troops. God knows we'll need it. Our sniper can't move and fire his rifle in the same turn. By ordering him to fire instead of moving to cover, you may have endangered this operative. Our heavy can't move and fire her rocket launcher in the same turn. She's killed a sectoid, but a well-placed rocket could have killed two or three. Commander, you haven't ordered any of the troops to cover. By rushing in, they've killed several hostiles but they're now vulnerable to the enemy's counterattack. Our troops are panicking. Panicked soldiers immediately run to cover and can't be issued orders for a single turn. sniper has been killed, and the other members of the squad are panicking. What are your orders? <laughs> By moving from cover to cover, our assault class soldier is much harder for the enemy to hit. This sniper is dashing between cover. When a soldier dashes, they can move much farther, but they give up the chance to fire.
insectoid has gone into Overwatch, enemies in Overwatch will automatically fire at any troops that pass within their field of vision. Good news is we can do the same thing to them. It's a great way to take shots at the enemy while keeping our troops in position. took some casualties. The squad eliminated all hostiles and successfully completed the mission. Nice work, Commander. The mission may be over, but the war rages on, Commander. You'll be pleased to know that the Council has made additional training available, as well as upgrades for the troops. God knows we'll need it. By moving soldiers out of cover before firing, their accuracy may increase, but the enemy's chances of scoring hits on them increases as well. Failed to stop the enemy, Commander. The entire squad has been killed in action. We'll inscribe their names on the memorial wall back at the barracks. Next time, we won't make the same mistakes. The mission may be over, but the war rages on, Commander. You'll be pleased to know that the Council has made additional training available, as well as upgrades for the troops. God knows we'll need it. Commander. You've chosen to deploy Assault and Heavy Class Soldiers. This squad brings more firepower than the Balanced Force, but is somewhat less versatile. The troops are waiting for your orders to proceed. The Heavy can't move and fire a rocket in the same turn. She's killed three hostiles, but by not taking cover, she's now exposed to enemy fire. Explosives are very effective at killing aliens, but they make recovering alien weapon fragments impossible. The more weapon fragments we can obtain, the faster our research can progress. Moving our Assault class soldier in close increases his accuracy. However, by not taking cover, the enemy's chances of scoring a hit on him have increased. We've taken out seven hostiles, Commander, but one of our soldiers was killed in the advance. How would you like to proceed? the squad took some casualties. They eliminated all hostiles and successfully completed the mission. Congratulations, Commander. The mission may be over, but the war rages on, Commander. You'll be pleased to know that the Council has made additional training available, as well as upgrades for the troops. God knows we'll need it. By advancing up the field, this assault soldier is guaranteed to hit this sectoid. 
But by not taking cover, his odds of being injured or killed have increased greatly. Moving our heavies up the field brings them closer to the enemy. But by moving, they give up the ability to fire rockets. Our troops are panicking. When a soldier panics, they immediately move to cover and cannot be issued orders until next turn. They also lose sight of the map, concealing nearby enemy actions, for example, a hostile unit throwing grenades. We failed to stop the enemy, Commander. The entire squad has been killed in action. We'll inscribe their names on the memorial wall back at the barracks. Next time, we won't make the same mistakes. The mission may be over, but the war rages on, Commander. You'll be pleased to know that the Council has made additional training available, as well as upgrades for the troops. God knows we'll need it. The Heavy can't move and fire a rocket in the same turn. She's killed three hostiles, but by not taking cover, she's now exposed to enemy fire. Explosives are very effective at killing aliens, but they make recovering alien weapon fragments impossible. Grenades don't have the blast radius of rockets, but our troops can move and use them in the same turn. This assault-class soldier is dashing up the field, when a soldier dashes, they can cover an incredible distance, but give up the chance to fire. By advancing, our troops have flanked the enemy, which greatly increases their chance to hit. However, by dashing, three of our troops have passed up the chance to fire on the enemy. <laughs> Commander, one of our operatives is critically injured. Without medical attention, she'll bleed out. However, there are three hostiles in the AO. If we don't deal with them now, we could lose the whole squad. It's your call. Stabilizing this wounded soldier ensures she won't bleed to death, but additional medical attention will be needed to get her back in the fight. Two of our operatives are down, and additional hostiles are advancing on the squad's position. At this point, it's only a matter of time. We'll hit them harder next time, Commander. The mission may be over, but the war rages on, Commander. You'll be pleased to know that the Council has made additional training available, as well as upgrades for the troops. God knows we'll need it. Killing this hostile without using explosives lets us collect fragments of the Muton Plasma Rifle and the Alien Grenade. Both will be critical to our research efforts. You made a tough call, Commander, but the squad has cleared the area of all hostiles and completed the mission. We've also recovered a number of valuable alien artifacts, 
Our scientists and engineers will be incredibly pleased. Job well done, Commander. The mission may be over, but the war rages on, Commander. You'll be pleased to know that the Council has made additional training available, as well as upgrades for the troops. God knows we'll need it.